Keeping your work organized is really important for speed, but it's also really important to make sure you don't lose track of where your work went. Most people rely on a tree structure, a hierarchy of folders to make sure that they keep their work organized, but there is a different and faster way, and that is to take advantage of our eyes. What do I mean? Stick around to find out. Folders and folders and folders is generic, it's bland, and it's plain. It could be so much better by using our eyes and our brains to our advantage by utilizing images that actually mean something. And I'm not talking about standard Windows generic images. It's the same concept, but we're going to take it far further than that. Most people are already familiar with using AI to generate images. You can use Bing Chat, for example. Instead, I'd like to use Microsoft Image Generator as an option. It's also free to use. So let's create a few images in the style that I like. I'll use the prompt, a 3D printer being held by an action figure extruding bright colored filament on a white background. And this is the result that it gives us. It's actually really good. I'm pretty happy with most of these, but this is the one I'm going to choose to go with because it's really cool and it's going to stand out to me. Now, if you want a transparent background, you can take the image, bring it over to this software, which is a free background removal software. It works really well. I'll link it below. For this demo, I'm just going to use the images as they are though. This image is 1024 by 1024 and we need it 256 by 256. You can bring it into paint and make the adjustment. But actually when we convert the file to the right format, which is a .ico format, it changes the size automatically. So I'm going to use this software to convert it. It's reliable and free to use as well. So now that we have all the images in a .ico format, we can save them somewhere safe. And I like to rename them just to keep everything clean and we can use them on the folders. And now, not only do we have words, we have relevant images to go with them, making the right folders far easier to find, and they've got a lot of personality now. This is simple, it's free, the folders can be whatever you want them to be, and as good as I was at word search, I think I was far better at Where's Waldo. We're a lot better at looking for images than words, but we're actually even better at looking for faces, so if you can make your folders into faces of some type, that's a level up from what I did here. Now the only issue with something like this is that you might confuse these images for pictures within a folder, a different color background, or something added to each of these before converting them to an icon file solves that problem. This is what the folders look like before, and here is the after. It's a big difference. I may not use this everywhere, but I'm definitely going to use this on folders that I use all the time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to find another way to help support this channel, you can visit my Patreon page in the link down below. I am committed to providing interesting videos that can't be found anywhere else. And if you have ideas for videos or you have problems that you need help solving, then write me a comment. I try and read and respond to every single comment. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.